Looks like there's some big guys around here. <laughs> yeah. 180 That's acres, good. I think. Huh? 180 acres? Yeah, it is. Oh my. I feel confident that we've made the right decision coming <laughs> here now. <laughs> what? Do you hear that? That's the sweet sound of small mouth. We are in northern Wisconsin. Hayden, Jake, and I are going back to this lake. Our friend Sam told us about it. It's supposed to have a bunch of really good smallmouth in it. And the big thing for us is there's not a lot of access. There's one trail back there, so there's no motorized boats, and we're able to camp back here. So we've got a bunch of gear. We're gonna try to get it in two trips. It's about a quarter mile walk back to this lake. We went back and peeked at it earlier. Looks really good, really clear water. Everybody that we've talked to in the area so far said there are, in fact, big smallies in here. So either way, it's gonna be a cool adventure. We're gonna camp out by the lake. Hopefully the fishing's good, but either way, we're gonna have fun. Let's go for a walk. Oh, oh man, that's nice. Just leave it here for now, huh? I'll probably do. Well, Jake broke the thing that was going to make this a lot easier. So we're carrying this kayak with a bunch of gear on it down this trail. And it's not easy, you know. We definitely don't have the right equipment. If we had a little bit like lighter stuff, I think this whole this whole deal would be easier. Or if that thing was just a little more heavy duty, but we can't really complain about that since it's not ours. Right. And since you broke it. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess here we go. What do you think? I think four more put downs and we'll be there. We're close. Yeah. I mean, right around I that hear bend. The voices. I hear voices. <laughs> Do you ever hear voices? Good? Yeah. Don't sink her. I'll, I'll let you know. They're headed way over there. We made it. We've arrived. We're at camp. This is what we're going to call home for the next, I don't know, day and a half or so. Hayden and I came over here to scout this out to make sure nobody was here. And we noticed there's lots of bass right around these weeds. And that's what, you know, people have told us in this area is like fishing around the weeds. There's also lots of down timber, but as you might have seen, the water is very, very clear. So you can see these fish, but the cool thing is there's not a lot of pressure here just simply because there's no motorboat access. It's kayak and canoe only. Perfect for us. All right, we are officially on the water and there are bass everywhere. Like I said, we got crystal clear conditions. So we're all throwing pretty natural looking stuff. I would say this is probably the most off thing that I'm throwing just to try something a little bit different, but it's still pretty natural and it looks pretty natural in the water. I've got the tube on here and just a Texas rigged Senko just to start not getting too fancy. So here we go, let's get to casting. So this water drops off like pretty quickly, I would say, to about 15 feet. It seems like that's probably where the fish are going to be, just based off the way those guys were catching them off the bank. And right here on my right is this little pocket of weeds. When we were scouting out this campsite, I saw a bunch of fish right there, so I started making my first few casts. There's a fish. <laughs> Told you they were going to jump. Here he goes. <laughs> and we're on the board in northern Wisconsin. It's a nice fish, fish to start off the trip. He's nothing major, but I take fish like that all day. What do you think? 13. Yep, 13 and a half. Zach, tape measure eyes. Baron ball. <laughs> All right, guy, get in there. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of fish in there. Here's a. Oh no, I think I lost him, man. That sucks. I'd have set the hook right on that fish. I got him. Guy up there just said something along the lines of it's gonna get electric here in a little bit. I don't know what that means, but it probably means it's gonna be crazy. 
I'll just kind of keep cruising along here and just do a little bit of scouting. Just see what we got. I do a little standing. There's this giant cruising around with this huge fish. The clarity in this water is just insane. You can just see like 25 feet down. Oh, that's a decent one. Oh. Hello. <laughs> He's got a little tag in his back. Yeah, maybe that's what I saw. I saw something weird on one of them. Golly, dude. Wacky <laughs> worm or drop shot? Drop shot. First real big guy of the trip. With that drop shot, I'm getting tangled up on like whatever this grass stuff is. But there was an open spot in there, real shallow, and he hit it pretty much as soon as it hit the water. I didn't know how big he was because I don't have my sunglasses. And then once he saw the boat, he really took it off and almost ripped the rod right out of my hand. He's got a little tag in his back there. It's crazy. Sounds like there's plenty more in here. Like I said, I can't see anything, but no, there's. I've seen, I've seen three or four at least uh -huh. that big. Oh man. No, dude, he's only 17 and a half inches. <laughs> he's just a thick sucker. Well, I was off by like a whole inch. Oh, you <laughs> don't want to kiss me. Later on, tag boy. He's just gonna lollygag off. It's not even that cool. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So sweet. Oh, dude, cast right on me. Cast right on me. There's a huge one. Huge one. Right here. Right here. caught this fish and there was a really big one chasing it but that one's not that big not that that matters it was still a really fun fish but he's a 11 and a half now I'll try to get that bigger one Well, I just hooked into this thing. It's a really solid smallmouth, but apparently my GoPro wasn't rolling, but it was pretty epic. Made lots of cool jumps. 17. Hang it, 
dude. Thing was a tank. Oh, well. I think mistakes have been made on this one. Oh yeah, it's a big fish. Did not set the hook well at all. Got it, man. That's a s another real good fish. By 16, 17. Anywhere where you can catch fish like that all day. <laughs> Which has been quite a few of them. I think this is our third, probably about 17 inch fish. You'll take it. They're just hammering that Sanko today. Pretty sweet. Put him on the measuring board. Sitting right at 17. Well, it's getting dark on the first day here. So far we've done pretty well. I think we've caught three fish over 17 inches and those fish are real fat. It's been pretty fun. I think we got a pretty decent pattern. A lot of these fish are just sitting right up against these weeds right where it drops off. There are places where there are fish, just not as many of them. And we've definitely narrowed it down at least on the one bank that we've covered to just these weed beds. But it has to drop off pretty significantly right where those weeds end. Once we find that, that's generally when we find fish and some pretty good ones. But we'll be going back to camp and luckily we're right on the water so should be easy enough to get up and go in the morning. <laughs>